Hello, today I'd like to quickly show you the new section interpretation tools within Geoscience Analyst 4.5 Pro Geology. Um, it's a new tool that allows you to uh, leverage existing functionality in a simple interface to make it quick and easy to do section interpretations within Geoscience Analyst. So from within the geology menu, I can click interpretation section to open up my digitizing panel. At this point, I can just click and drag the section of the orientation that I would, I would like, uh, give my interpretation a name. Then um, this will open up or create a interpretation group and then a dialogue to allow you to manipulate your sections and do your interpretations within, within this panel. Um, you can step through your sections, uh, you can specify the projection buffer width on either side of your section, um, and then most importantly, add my interpretation curves. So I'm going to very quickly create a new curve called this top yellow, as that's the contact I'm going to interpret. I'll give it, a, make it the right color, and then I'll zoom in. As soon as you start editing or create a new curve, you'll have your editing tools open and you'll be using the regular Go, um, Geoscience Analyst editing tools. The main two keys that you would want to remember are O to be digitizing your nodes and when you step to a new section, I to actually break that interpretation and create a new curve on the next section. So I'm just going to very quickly start digitizing my interpretation uh, well, when you're in here, if you have to, want to use any of the other editing tools, you're more than welcome to. Um, if I click on a drill hole, the node will snap to the drill hole. And if you really want to uh, click on that interval, then you can use this snapping tool. So once I've done this, I'll step to my next section. Then if I want to actually see the previous or the interpretations on the adjacent sections, I can show the curves within the secondary buffer. So I can actually see where I, my, my previous interpretations were. As this is a new section, I remember I'm gonna just click, hold down I for my first node, and then I'm swapping to O to continue my open curve. Um, you can do similarly to make a closed curve. If you wanted to digitize an ore body, you would just do O all the way around and then use K left click to close that curve. Like I said, these are just all the standard editing tools within digitizing and editing tools within Geoscience Analyst. To my next section here, again, I then O to digitize. My next section, I for my first node and then O to digitize here. If I wanted to create or continue and do a second contact, I can always add a curve. I can call this, say, top blue. And if I, when I step to the next section, I can choose which curve I actually want to be editing within this section. So I can do multiple contacts at any one time. Um, once I'm done, I'm going to close this and I can turn off my clipping plane and you can see my interpretation lines within the viewport. So now that I have this curve, I, if I want to actually make a surface from it, I can just right click within the create menu and create horizon fault surfaces. Now this tool, this particular tool um, sort of incorporates two existing tools or surface creation tools within Geoscience Analyst. One of them is the surface designer with um, some very basic um, defaults and the other one is the regular create surface from nodes tool to actually directly triangulate between your nodes. So top yellow I'm going to just set best guess a triangle size and then what will happen when I click apply is it will run the surface in designer tool and if that fails it will fall back to the um, surface from nodes tool. So there we have it I have my contact that I've interpreted within Geoscience Analyst Pro Geology using the new section interpretation tools. Thank you.